Alright, so today in our part 2 of our opening balance tutorial, we will be looking into how we are going to op enter opening balance for our customers. Alright, so first of all, we will need to create our customer under here AR, debtor maintenance. So let's say I create a new customer, new. So we will create here the company ABC, Adrian Rahat. Okay, so let's done, then save, then we close the screen. So let's say the particular customer actually owes us a few invoices. So to enter all those invoices, we will need to come here to AR here, and we will need to come here to AR invoice entry. All right. So let's say we want to create a new invoice. So we click new, and then we will press here, select our customer, ABC. So what happens is, of course, the invoice number will be based on your historical invoice number. So we come here and we change it IV1001, okay? Then of course the date will also be based on the invoice date. So let's say we come here, we change the date, say to 2019 February 5th, okay? So once we do that, we can see the word here, past invoice appearing, all right? So if you want to enter the opening balance, we just press plus, we put here the amount. So let's say example, they owe this invoice is $2,000. Okay, so we can put here 2000 and what I always recommend our clients to do is in the description here, we will actually put here opening balance. Okay, so once you're done, you just press save. Okay, Okay. so if you can see here, the lock period, so if you want to change it, you press OK first, we can actually minimize this, close this one, and then we go to tools here, manage physical here, we can actually unlock it, then we close. Alright, so let's go back to our window, invoice. Now when we press save, the system will then allow you to save. Alright, so when you come to AI invoice, you can see there's a opening balance invoice. So let's say example, now ABC also owe another invoice, say 10,000 ringgit, but they already paid half of it, 5,000 ringgit. So when we key in the opening balance, we will always key in only the outstanding balance. So to do that, we just press new here. We select our customer, ABC again, we put the invoice number, IV2043, and then we put that the date here, we can go back, say to the month of October 20th, and then here we press the plus sign, and here we will put in the amount. So let's say the amount is, sorry, uh, our date is 2019. Okay. So then let's say just now we said 10,000 and then they paid 5,000. So only outstanding 5,000, we'll put here 5,000. All right. So some of our clients even want to put say example, invoice original amount RM 10,000, paid RM 5,000. If you want to put the information like that, so you can actually keep track of it. So then once done, we press save. Okay, let's say example, there's a customer that actually overpay you. So if you want to create that, you can come here to AR. Let's say we create another debtor. New um, DF Sedrian Bahad. Save. Okay. Same way, all we just need to come here is AR. We come to AR credit note. And then we press new. So we select DEF Sedrian Bahad. Here we can actually put a credit note number 001. And of course, the date 31st December 2019. Okay, so again, you see past credit note. We just press the plus sign and we can put what is the credit note amount. Say $200. Okay, so once we're done, we just press save. All right, so you can see here. So, of course, we can always look at our aging report. We can come here to AR. We can come to debtor aging report. So, of course, we want to look it as of 1st of January 2021. The inquiry, you can see the invoices are showing like five months and more than five months. If we press the plus sign, we can actually zoom in and see what the outstanding invoices. You see the dates, 2019. All right. Okay, so that's it for today. We hope that you find this useful. Do like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.